Hi, it's Kate here. Welcome back to my channel where I document my journey to become more woke as a socially conscious consumer. I encourage you to read the article I wrote in Medium about the socially conscious triad, um, the three parts of the stool that keep up being a socially conscious consumer. Uh, those include watching what you buy, watching how you invest, and watching how you earn money. I, since my original audit, my first video on this channel, I've acquired a lot of different socially conscious products, including these from the Cause Box, the Winter 2018 Cause Box. And I wanted to sort of test out how they were. I've been sort of waiting for an opportunity to make a video about it and a lot of these are beauty products, uh, there's some makeup products and some other products. So first, this video is going to just focus on whether these products that are makeup are actually any good even though they're socially conscious. So I'm gonna, I got my brushes. And we're gonna move right along with seeing how they work. Okay, the first thing, besides my hair being crazy, the first thing for our little trial is this e.l.f. BB cream. Now, in the original beauty audit video where I looked at all my, all my beauty products and determined what was socially conscious and what was not, e.l.f. turned out to be an affordable solution that was not uh, tested on animals and even though they might have some questionable ingredients generally actually this for the price point is a good brand it's solid it's great so what i wanted to do was try this out with a foundation brush and let's see how it does now i have a sneaking suspicion because i've tried to wear this before that this is not the right shade for me, but let's give it a shot o whirl, as I say. Okay, midway through checkpoint. It certainly looks like it's evened out my skin tone. Um, it definitely looks a little bit shiny, but we have some finishing spray and some powder here if it gets too shiny but uh, overall I'm actually liking it I think the brush is the right way it doesn't even really look like it's the wrong color it looks it looks like it's doing well. okay let's finish this off I always like to put some on my neck also I just think you know the neck and face all benefit. I think what was happening is I was getting too full and sort of thick coverage when I was putting it on with the silicone sponge and that probably made it seem like it was the wrong color but it actually actually seems like it works so just kidding I like that so far so elf doing well um, from first blessed foundation I, I'll show you a side photo um, in the sidebar of where I caked it on too strong and it really did not look right. <laughs> okay, so then I bought and haven't even used yet this Eco Tools Beauty Blender. And I basically just wanted to see if it is actually as good as a regular sponge beauty blender. Um, it basically is made of 70% plant-based materials. Um, there's some recycled parts on it and it's supposedly, you know, this eco foam is supposedly just as good. And that's the crux of the socially conscious products and why we do these reviews is that ultimately, even though they're socially conscious, they need to be every bit as good, if not better than the regular than the regular version of the product and at a comparable price because if uh, if you're not succeeding in the free market then you're really not actually that great and you can't rely on people's sense of being socially conscious in order to further uh, the cause of socially conscious business so 
that's a long fancy way to say let's see how good this really is oh by the way I'm using my uh, I'm gonna use with it my little concealer my it's rubbed off my IT cosmetics eye cream that I just love um, and it's pretty thick and I think the sponge will do a good job with not laying it on too too thick all right uh, dark spots and seal that looks like it did a great job actually I often put this on with my fingers and it makes it look very white so I think it blended with the foundation very seamlessly so it really can't tell um, and I think that's a good that's actually a nice contrast from what I usually do with just Next, let's do this banana setting powder. It has the Leaping Bunny program on the back, which is an app that I downloaded to look up a lot of the information before. And basically it is saying whether it's cruelty free and made humanely. So it is, and it looks like the ingredients are all very mineral based. So this is a high quality setting powder. So let's see what the banana setting powder uh, does for this burgeoning look here. Oh my, the banana setting powder has never been open. Got some brand new beauty science here. There we go. Well, I must say, I am so pleased with this. Uh, so far, my skin tone has been evened out, and the shine has uh, just been taken away. It keep forging on. We have the Bella Per Cosmetics. Again, it has the Leaping Bunny, and it has a recycle symbol, which means that it is both made for recycled materials in the packaging and this attempt to be sustainable. And then there are a lot of mineral ingredients just like with the the powder so this I think is also brand new so this is gonna be just the first time we take a shot uh, using using this blush oh love it very uh, very nice subtle hint of additional color so next we have the elf eyeliner I've liked this and I've found a lot of success with it so far. So, and it seems very long lasting. Um, the only thing is that sometimes if it rains or um, is a little bit humid, it will kind of start crusting by the end of the day. But uh, let's put it on now and let's see how it is at the end of the day. You know, before we make <laughs> the judgments on camera. Okay, that is always a joy, and that looks really great. So, my face is coming along. I am going to now, before we do the whole um, eye, eyelash curler and mascara, I want to go through two of these amazing um, eyeliner, uh, eye, eyeshadows. So, they one is clearly the one that I would use every day. But I got this because I just couldn't resist having some cool colors. So I'm gonna just kind of put a little bit of a background uh, neutral, probably this pink one, and then put a little bit of a little light, more wild. And I'm thinking maybe something along the lines of like that orange, or maybe yellow. Oh, those look pretty neat. Okay, so the first thing I need to say immediately, so I used um, this color right here, and I mean, I can see it and there is no fallout. You can immediately tell the quality that Pacifica puts into this. That is impressive. I mean, these are the colors that I would be using every day. 
And I was just thinking I should probably do a smoky, see I would do it with this color, but I'll probably do a smoky vibe with one of these wild colors. So alright, I want to continue with the wild colors, but I just had to, had to say how awesome that is to see a, uh, you know, the color is just so pigmented. It already looks pretty. I mean, this would, you know, with a little mascara, this would be a day, day to day for me. A little lipstick. You know, nothing too fancy, nothing, you know, overt, but just like, hey, it's my face. Wow, check that out. That's cool. I usually would never wear this. This is so empty. Yeah, um, let's let's definitely get some under eye, some under eye trauma. So I use this on the lid, and uh, this right under here, under the brow. Let's get the under eye. See, I'd actually kind of almost like it's not too heavy, but it just is visible enough. Like, I, you could probably put more on, and I bet if you put a primer on, it would be more. But actually, the pigment in the Pacifica, you know, really helps. Actually, in fact, I, not one of these wild colors. I think the Pacifica is where we should find. Let's go, let's go do this, this brown. All right, we're getting wild. Uh, that looks really good, actually. You so let's uh, let's do some eyelash curling, and then I want to talk about a new brand. I don't think that I've ever talked about. Before. Okay, so this new brand that I have not talked about before is called Zuzu Lux. Uh, they too have the recycling symbol, the Leaping Bunny. Um, they are certified gluten-free, 100% vegan and cruelty-free mixed packaging. So they, they are really very serious and they're very min mineral uh, sourced with the ingredients. And the only thing that I want to know is, so here's, we have Onyx color. The only thing I want to know now does it work? So let's try. Excellent! Zisu! I like. I also recently got an Arbonne mascara and I actually use the e.l.f. mascara quite a bit too. Uh, they're all socially conscious. Of course the Arbonne being the top high-end and most socially conscious of the crew. Um, and really the best quality but I mean if you are like I need something ten dollars or less there's here it is if you need something at ten dollars maybe fifteen I think this was um, Sisu uh, it looks really great so before we go any further I got this NYX dewy finishing spray so let's uh, let's just spray down the look All right, now it's gonna dry. Now there are some lip color options. The ones that I bought recently, the Arbonne lipstick in Aster color. This is an amazing color and it was actually great for uh, winter. Pixie by Petra, we went through this. It doesn't have wholly great ingredients. So some of them are a bit questionable, but it's not tested to animals and it is mineral based and it's a high quality product. And then of course we have an e.l.f. solution. Now the e.l.f. solution I'm gonna put on briefly because this is a wild solution. Uh, this is this is a costume party. And we can always um, take this off with our Vasanti wipes, but I just wanna show you this crazy black lipstick. I mean, it's certainly not me. It's definitely like a costume party type lipstick, but I gotta say, it tastes like vanilla. I mean, it is sweet. So, all right, let's uh, let's let's take this off and uh, let's see about our other little colors. Here. Thanks, Visanti. 
Um, by the way, the Visaki wipes, I know I said that they might not be worth it. And the Amika Soul Food from the um, Birchbox, turns out I use and love those all the time and probably will buy them. Um, so I want to just amend what I initially said because I, I mean, you never know until, you know, it's months later and the chips have fallen and, and you see what you actually end up wearing. But uh, it turns out I really like those. So um, moving right along, let's see about Aster. Now, I think for this green, Aster is going to be too dark, but I wanted to just show it because it's smooth and it's silky and it's pretty. Kind of one of those lipsticks that makes you go, ooh. It's got a very astery flavor to it. Very smooth, very ooh. I actually really love it. it looks real, real good. I'm gonna do, do my hair a little bit and uh, ready for my evening. But um, just because. <laughs> We're still uh, rolling. I will place that aside and uh, we'll just try our Pixie by Petra. Now, I'm actually surprised at how similar this color is. Now, this is a long lasting color and it's going to be a little bit more matte and has kind of no flavor. So this would be my look for the day. Um, you know, I'll do my hair a little bit. Let's uh, we'll set that. Um, I got my braid. I call them my Viking braids, and uh, we have a beautiful socially conscious look for just uh, every day. And you know, this green is nice. It's not too loud for every day. I think paired with kind of a neutral lip and not too wild on the cheeks. I mean, we didn't put highlighter or anything at this at this stage. Um, it looks like a daytime look, actually. So even for Portland. So okay, that's awesome. Uh, some great socially conscious finds. I'm I'm learning <laughs> as we go. Okay, so I basically added some texturizing salt spray. This Alafia, this is a natural brand I get at Whole Foods that I also really love. Um, and it just has like an amazing smell. So we just added that, um, wrapped the hair around a straining iron. I actually moved the elastic up on the braid so it would uh, just kind of blend a little bit better. And uh, I'm, I'm ready to go. I got my NASA t-shirt, by the way. It does that. <laughs> uh, this is, uh, you know, all right. So now, now I'm done for the day. So um, I'm ready, I'm ready for maybe, maybe to add a shirt for business casual, but uh, you know, this is actually a business or um, everyday look. So made all socially consciously and actually everything I tried, I liked. So that is uh, not totally expected and probably uh, the first time I've uh, really had that outcome. So, all right, stay woke. Have a great day. <laughs> 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 Yeah.